Hi, my name is Ginger Schner. I'm the Sunday School Coordinator for St. Thomas Anglican Church. Um, so, t so today's topic, we're going to be talking about Good Friday and um, Easter Sunday. So um, you can find the verses in John 19, um, verse 21 at 42, and John chapter 20 to verse 11 to 18. So on, on the Friday, Good Friday, Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Uh, he was buried on that same day, and everyone who loved him, Jesus was said. And on that Sunday, Jesus rose from the dead. And everyone who loved Jesus was glad. Jesus was also glad, and we can be glad too, and we can live for we can live for him and we can live forever for him so <clears throat> the lesson for today is friday was sad and sunday was glad on the friday jesus laid down his life for us and he died on the cross to pay for our sins um sins are when we do something on purpose that we know is wrong um, and that is what Jesus did for us. He paid for our sins on the cross. And when Jesus was buried on that same day, his friends buried him in a tomb. And Jesus' tomb was in a little cave in a hell with a big, big stone rolled in front of it. And everyone who loved Jesus was sad and sad is an emotion the opposite of happy and so his family and his friends his disciples they were all sad and and on <coughs> and three days after so we have Friday Saturday and Sunday on that Sunday, Jesus rose from the dead. So, three days. Three days. So, on that third day, on that third day, Jesus rose from the dead. What do you think that, that means? What do you think that means to us? Deep in our hearts, when we think about it, that... Um, he died for our sins the answer to this is he he loves us he loves us so much so very much that he was willing to sacrifice all all the 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 are the, the sins and so that way we can be forgiven and and that he it shows that he loves us and and they, that no matter what he, he is always gonna be there for us and, and that's that's what happens that's what happened on the Sunday on the third day some people who are friends with Jesus came to the tomb to find that the tomb was empty and no one didn't even know where Jesus was. So Mary Magdalene was one of his friends um, and she was, she was sitting outside the tomb crying and then she decided to go inside the tomb again and check and she saw two angels sitting there and the two angels asked her and why why are you crying and Mary just asked Jesus is not there and where have you taken him <clears throat> and they told her that Jesus was alive and Mary turned around 
she didn't recognize this man right away. She didn't recognize Jesus right away until Jesus said, Mary. And then the minute that she, Jesus said Mary, her name, that's when Mary was very glad. And everyone was glad that same day. Because Mary ended up running back to the village to telling the disciples, families and friends that Jesus has risen from the dead. He was alive forever and everyone who knew him and loved Jesus was glad. So we can be glad too. And we can be glad on the Easter Sunday that Jesus died on the cross for our sins so very much and he he is alive and we can be glad and knowing that we can live forever with him <coughs> so I'd like to thank you for joining me in today's video and um, before we conclude um, I like to sing a song um, that I like to sing to my kids. Um, I usually play listeners kids and one of our favorite songs that we like to listen to and sing along to is this is the this is the day so um, This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is a day that the Lord has made. This is a day, this is a day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made.